What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? It is back on. Raising Canaan is back on, y'all. And we are talking about it. I just want to give my little tidbits on this. Don't forget, I will be going live Monday at 9.05 p.m. with the ladies, with Tamika's Den, as well as EJ's. And we might have a couple of special guests. So please tune in. Um, their links will be in the notifications. And um, let's get into Raising Canaan. This is Raising Canaan, season three, episode one. And the name of the episode was called Home Sweet Home. I'm glad it started where it ended. Only thing I thought we were be going to be getting was that conversation when they all met in front of the house after everything was done and said and done with the Italians. So I thought we were going to get a conversation between Rock, Kanan, and Detective Howard directly in the beginning. I did think that was going to happen at first. But I was I was satisfied that we saw that later on down the road. Now, as far as who was the uh, MVP of this episode to me, y'all know who came through in the clutch. And that was Detective Howard. Detective Howard came through in the clutch and he looked out for his son throughout this whole thing and laid down the law with Rock. I thought that was I thought that was fly. I thought it was real fly. Um, I still feel like with this, I'm just giving my first thoughts on this, y'all. So this isn't a total recap. I'll be back with some other things. But I do know that I feel like um this whole situation with Marvin, I don't think he's out of the woods because he hasn't been to a doctor yet. Even though it went in and out will there be some kind of infection going on with this because i'm seeing him wincing throughout the episode in pain so i'm like kind of on pins and needles with marvin uh as far as lulu i feel like he is taking a turn for the worse he is spiraling out of control now he's he's drinking and y'all know i'm worried about my lulu not my lulu lord i don't know i don't know what's going on with him he's like he's he's like really like on this f rock ish and he got every right to be he has every right to be so that that's where i'm at with that but i do feel like we might we might see like a drastic change with Lulu, and he got one person that's in his corner on all of this, and you know that one person is his nephew Canaan. Canaan seemed like he on board with this. He's on the same on the same tip like with that F Rock. So um yeah, like I was saying, I feel like he, I feel like with that. We're going to see things of that nature go on with it. But I wanted to also, what did I like? What I liked most about this episode, I didn't think we were going to get a KI double hockey sticks that fast. I really didn't. I thought they were going to, I thought they was going to keep Burke around a little longer. I really did. Um, It was a shocking thing. Um, Me and a couple of other people did the, the uh, a watch party i loaded those little clips reaction clips we had, it was first reaction clips i loaded it to my instagram as well as my tiktok and i believe it is on facebook too so y'all might want to check those out so um yeah i w with this whole episode i thought it was good i also um feel like we might see a lot of things. Detective Howard is stepping up and um, things didn't go in Burke's favor. So yeah, I, I, I with this, I, I was, I was real satisfied with this episode because I, I, I really thought they was going to keep her around a little longer. And even though we was all saying she got to go and the way it blended in, because remember she got that warning earlier that night after before the whole things happened with the Italians with jukebox giving her that warning. 
So everything was so close together where we're seeing her get in trouble and then bam, she's gone. So yeah. That uh that that was that was good. Um Detective Hal was two steps ahead of her and he was making sure he was gonna protect his kid. He even looked out for Rock too. He even stood ten do ten toes down with Rock. Now, he stood 10 toes down with Rock as far as with her whole thing with her arm. She explained everything that happened. And, her stu and they, you know, they usually ask you the same questions three different ways to see if you're going to get the same answer and not three different answers. So she was on top of her game with the police. You know, she was just dancing with the best of them doing her little two step. And Detective Howard was running interfering. So that's why I call him the MVP of this episode. And you know who else I liked this episode that I call an MVP with? Your boy Marvin. Marvin put told Kane, you supposed to be here and you gonna help him back. Even though he didn't kind of like listen to him, I see like he's starting to, you know, he's coming back into his own as far as like he's doing things and he's not getting too angry. He's still using all his stuff that he learned from his anger management. And, you know, I thought that was cool. But now that they know, he's even shocked about how she kept this from him. And, He's like, how did you keep this secret so long? And I'm like, yeah, Rock, you like stood down hard with this for the longest. And if Detective Howard didn't come to you, you still would have kept it covered. So that's the crazy part. Um, I feel like I must, I, I feel like with this uh unique. And his brother is going to clash. I believe Unique, this is where they learned how to put the people you love in the pen. So I think he going to set, I think all this, I think Ronnie is going to set Unique up when he end up going back to, going back, go to, going to prison. Because I don't think Unique has ever been locked up. Because remember, he took over for Ronnie when Ronnie was locked down. So I just feel like with this, uh, we're going to see a lot of sibling rivalry between Ronnie and Unique and their um, body for positions. But Unique seemed like he's that little brother that still loves his brother and admires him and things of that nature. But it don't seem like Ronnie is all there mentally. He seems like he's very institutionalized. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know, I'm not going to stay up here too long. But I do, it's like other things that I want to talk about. Um, As far as we know, Rock is not out the game. We done seen Sal. He's mad at um at them too. Like I said, this is not like a recap. I'm going to be, we're going to be talking about the recap with the girls and doing the other things. But I just wanted to give my first thoughts out before I do, before I go anywhere because I feel like with Unique and his brother, he's going to set him up and drop dime on him or something. He's going to shut him up where he get jammed up and he get locked up for a minute. He's going to put him down where he could cool his jets because he want to take back over. He feel like he's already mad that Rock is that Rock is, living, is basically earning money, big money in Queens, and they, they sent him to Jersey. So he's really kind of pissed off about that because this is not how you left it. And he don't care if things change. He sound like he ready to go back to the corner. And you know who's going to be ready to go back to the corner with him, y'all, right? This boy, Kanan. He's going to be ready to go back to the corner with him. I already see them hooking up because, remember, I said that before. And is he Breeze or isn't he Breeze? He might be. We'll see. Um, But, yeah, I think he is because it was little things that I've been seeing that – um has me like in that direction and um i wonder if marvin is actually going to confront rock about the scrappy situation and will we see scrappy's mom let me know what y'all think in the comments but um i'm gonna move on with this 
she pissed me off with this too, this thing, because you don't even know who Jukebox is. You don't even know her name. You had to look on the paper. So did you really listen to this kid? Because that's what guidance counselors don't do, especially back then, back in the day. They either put you in some kind of, um, you belong in, a, in, in the armed service, trade school, or fast food industry. But I know when I went to school, they had us doing like typing. I learned stenography and things of that nature. So, you know, I'm talking about way back when I was in school. So, you know, they did, if some schools are career orientated. So I didn't like the, I wasn't feeling this guidance counselor. She was like, you know, she was down. She sucked for me. Anywho, I like this conversation where, um, that took place between Detective Howard and Rock, and he was letting them know, like, me and you were on the same team. When it come to that boy, me and you was on the same team. So don't stop Detective Howard from being a good father. You was all right. You kept your mouth closed. When he was in there backing you up when the when the, when the popo was there, right? He was he basically backed you, backed you up and came through in the clutch. Any insights here, Howard? Camacho was always a smart kid, entrepreneurial, steady hustling, but he dirty. He been dirty. You mean to tell me, I need a full screen for this. You mean to tell me that you, you couldn't, um, you couldn't even say thank you. You know that she is looking out. Well, he is, Detective Howard was looking out for your son's best interest, his son's best interest. And you're going to act like it didn't mean nothing, but when you was back at that hospital room, you looking over and glancing over for approval. Rock is my girl and all, but this one, she was dead wrong with this. I love her and all. I like the way she going to stand 10 toes down and stand wrong and strong, but she was wrong on this. She was wrong. Okay, moving on. <laughs> She done lost her girl. She done lost. Her father's pissed off at her. He was like, get it through your thick effing skull. And he's a decorated cop. So you see all them plaques and stuff on the wall? He's with the boys' boys. That's why he was getting the call. I believe, and I, I don't be surprised. I'm telling you, don't be surprised if he comes snooping around too. Because I believe he knew that Detective Howard was dirty. That's why he was telling her to fall back. and. Detective Howard is connected to some other people. So I am I feel like De Detective Howard is dirty, but he dirty and he's following a, ch a chain of command of dirty, if you know what I'm saying. Don't be surprised. Anywho, um, did y'all peep? This is what I, did y'all peep this with Famous? They already saying he a fiend? I think he's gonna be the his he's gonna be the fault of his own demise, not Canaan. But can he gonna be following Canaan? He already saying he not built to like be out there slinging it. He not gonna be out there built for the block. So, but he gotta be part of. You gonna have to be part of something. Either you gonna be cooking or something. You gonna have to do something in the in the D game because y'all getting eviction notices and all of that. And you still need to keep your your spot. So the only other place you can't go back home. So you better. I think he is gonna fall in line with Kanan, but you know, I do believe that Famous is gonna mess up. I do believe that. I I, I and I still think we might see something where. Don't be surprised if Marvin might get some kind of little infection as far as with the whole pow pow thing. Because he hasn't been to a doctor. He ain't even been to like, you know, like some on the low low doctor. But you know, that's my thoughts about that. Um, I thought, I thought, like I said, I thought Detective Howard was a G. He was a G with this. Um I like the fact that uh that the whole lieutenant put um the whole lieutenant put everything put uh he put Burke in his her place because she was out of line coming in there and he was gonna try to go out there and talk to her, but she was gonna she was she thought she really was gonna be able to drop Dom on Detective Howard. 
and he's a decorated police officer. He's a def decorated uh, detective that's been on the force for years. So, you know, I don't know where she, what she thought she was going with that. I don't know what she thought she was going with that. But like I said, the biggest reaction and the, and the best thing out of this, I, I believe that, uh, I believe that Detective Howard is going to get away with taking out Burke because he did it kind of smooth. Her world was cut. Her world has came crashing down. And, you know, she was telling him her world, his world, her world came crashing down. He was not playing with her, but I do believe he's going to get, get off with this. Maybe not. But what about all the shit you did to cover it up, Malcolm? You had Sam killed. I know it was you. It had to be. And if you did that, who knows what else you could have done? Who knows? He was not playing with her. So now I think it's going to look like she took herself out. She uh, It's going to look like she cut her own water off. Shouts out to Brillo. I do feel like it's going to look like that. So, um, like I said, this was a good episode overall. Um... Hit that like, hit that subscribe, subscribe button. Put me up in that algorithm, y'all. Hit the like, hit the share, and put me up in that algorithm. I'll let your girl keep y'all notifications on. Like I said, I will be going live on Monday at 9.05 and talk to you guys soon. Later. Later.